Thank you, Russell. Thank you. It was great inspiration for all of us. <laughs> okay, so I'm assuming there are going to be a lot of questions here, and there are, so let's go for it. Ah, uh, yeah. So, uh, first question, I will read it for you, no problem. Uh, first question for me. Uh, do you think that all the PPC specialists should learn uh, JavaScript? Is that feasible? <laughs> is it feasible? I, I, so, um, you know, I think it's, I think it's uh, you're always trying to learn new skills. I think that marketing today is only going to get more technical. I think there's always going to be technical innovations with marketing. And I think uh, learning the ideas around um, some of the coding principles, I think, is going to be really powerful and really useful uh, to kind of grow and, and, and become a better marketer. Um, yeah, so I think it's feasible. I think it's, it's worthwhile. I hope uh, everyone at least tries it, uh, understands a little bit, and hopefully uh, becomes a better marketer because of it. Yeah. OK, so well, do you think it's, it's possible that uh, there are some third party providers, vendors, that are, that are selling their scripts to PPC agencies, for example? Yeah, I think there's a lot, there's a lot out there. Um, I've, I've talked to uh, a lot of people that are, are selling scripts to mm -hmm. people. Um, I, I think that's, a, that's it's, it's, again, it's, it's, uh, it's one way to start, start leveraging it. I would, I, would be, I would be very wary about using something that you don't fully understand in your mm -hmm. account. And a lot of people get into trouble where they just they randomly grab uh, some some code without understanding the things okay. behind it. And uh, when you're buying when you're buying code from from somebody, um, just be, just be careful. Again, having just a cursory understanding, just being able to walk through some of the code examples, it's just going to be really powerful in helping you um, find issues and errors because everyone's account is really different, right? There's no one set of account structures, and mm -hmm. so you know it's, it's very difficult to write code that matches everyone's account structure. Okay, so first, uh, it's, is it, that's a stupid <laughs> question, I say. <laughs> is it legal to use the name of a Google's registered trademark AdWords in your domain name, or do you have some agreement with Google? <laughs> I don't have any agreement with Google. Uh, I don't know if it's legal or not. I've been using it. I've got other domains if they come after me, but uh, <laughs> fingers crossed, everything yeah. is okay. Yeah, um, fingers crossed. Knows? Okay. <laughs> uh, what about debugging? Tiny failure in code might convert into big loss. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's a, so that's an issue. Um, debugging and um, and and fixing issues it, it can be a real real problem. I always I always tell people um, when they're working with with AdWords scripts, always set up a test MCC with test accounts in there, uh -huh. um, and really try hard to mimic the same account structure that you're going to run these scripts on. Um, you're never going to find all of the edge cases, but you yeah. really want to make sure that you're testing it thoroughly in, in accounts that you know, don't even have billing set up so that you make sure that you're not, uh, really not losing anything there. Um, and then you're constantly monitoring it, right? I, I, I said automate is, is great. You've got all those robots helping you. But at the end of the day, you have to be the quality engineer sitting at the end of the assembly line making sure that everything that's coming out is, is, is A-OK, -okay, right? Great. Um, have you uh, built any scripts that pull data from the Google Analytics or the multi-channel funnels API to adjust bidding, targeting, or budgets? Yeah, so, um, so Google just actually, Google Scripts, I, I noticed the other day, they've got a new section called Experimental Tools. And they have actually a connector into uh, the Google Analytics tool. I've, I've used, um, I've, I've taken Google Analytics data, pulled it into spreadsheets, and combined it with, uh, with AdWords data that, that way. Um, I haven't had a chance to play around with pulling the um, analytics data directly into um, AdWords, but I'm mm. looking forward to, uh, to playing around with it, maybe even on my flight home. Who knows? <laughs> oh, yeah. Great. So uh, what about A-B testing? How can you do this with scripting? Yeah. So, um, so I've got, a, I've, got, I've got some code out there. Um, the, the scripts really help in um, taking and calculating all of the values that you need for, um, for, uh, for your analytics. And I'll be the first to, first to say that I'm not a statistics uh, major at all. In fact, I don't think I even got very good grades in statistics. But um, the, the code is there to calculate standard deviation and calculate p-values and do all that stuff. And so you can, you can um, you can actually take impressions and clicks, or you can take clicks and conversions, or you can take uh, all different types of, of, um, of data, and you can uh, 
compare your ads based on different types of data mm -hmm. and determine a winner. So mm -hmm. maybe a little bit different than the, than the regular just CTR metric that you're using. OK. Have you ever tested traffic data in AdWords scripts? Um, traffic data, like, uh, what do you mean traffic data? Oh, tra oh, like, oh, like, uh, <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> so traffic data, like, uh, like people stuck in traffic, not like website traffic. Hopefully. Uh, yeah, it might be it. <laughs> yeah, you might be right. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. I've had ideas, and um, and I don't know if it, it's useful or not. But I've always I've always had the idea of of pulling um, you know traffic from either uh, either Google Maps or something into into my AdWords and say you know if if people are stuck in traffic uh, during a long period of time maybe there's a change I can do to my accounts. It's just really hard to find free traffic data out there. So. Please, if anyone knows a source of free traffic data, I would love for them to send me a Twitter or a tweet <laughs> about it because I couldn't find it. Um, and so, yeah, but I, I would love to leverage that into in, in my in my scripts. Great. So we are just run out of time. So <laughs> thank you very much awesome. thank for you guys. being here. <laughs> it was a great inspiration for all of us. <laughs> Russell Savage. <laughs>